Dia, I wish. Bonjour. Sage. Yeah. Hello again, boys and girls. Welcome to our world. And welcome to week nine of our remote lessons. Welcome to our world. This is Europe. Now, as we've gone through the past several weeks of learning about our world and different countries, I hope you've appreciated the differences and the similarities that we've encountered through music. Looking at and listening to the differences and the similarities of different cultures and different people groups around the world help us to understand and respect people in general. People from all over the world, people within our own country, people in our own communities, and maybe even ourselves as we make these connections to other people in other places on the planet. This week, lesson number nine from Welcome to Our World is going to focus on a continent called Europe. Now Europe is a small continent compared to the other ones. It's actually the fifth largest. But the countries that are in Europe and the entire continent of Europe actually plays an important role in the country that we now know as the United States of America. The explorers and the settlers and pilgrims and even the people that founded our nation, and wrote our constitution, our declaration of independence, organized our country into states and a country that has a government we got a lot of those, if not most of those, uh, ideas and ideals from countries in Europe. We copied a lot of what the European countries were doing when we established this country that we now know as the United States of America. As a matter of fact, the language that I'm speaking to you right now, the official language of our country, is called English. Do you notice it's not called American? Our language that we speak is called English. Why is that? Well, English is the language of the country of England, which is in Europe. So that fact alone ought to give you quite an idea of how closely connected we are to these continent, uh, countries in Europe and the entire continent. What we're going to do this week in Lesson 9 is explore four of those countries. Ireland, France, Poland, and Greece. Let's check out our assignment on Seesaw. Here we are on Seesaw and our lesson this week, Welcome to Our World, Lesson 9, Europe. Let's check it out. And as I've talked to you about earlier, the four nations we're going to look at this week are Ireland, France, Poland, and Greece. For today, let's take a look at the country of France. Now actually, the language of France, which is called French, is a language that I'm probably most familiar with speaking and listening to other than English. I studied the language of French when I was in 7th and 8th grade, junior high school, and even took two more years of it in high school. Um, so I spent a lot of time in classroom, in school, learning how to speak this wonderful language called French. And we have here as we have in the previous lessons, a national anthem, traditional song or dance, folk instruments, and popular music. Let's take a look at the first one. The national anthem, La Marseillaise.
second, let's take a look at traditional song or dance from France. Some of you who are listening have a, an instant connection to that one song. Have you heard that song before? Maybe in a movie that you've seen recently in the last year or two that came out? Can you think of what it is? If you said Trolls 2, the world tour, you're exactly right. The song called One More Time, featured in that movie, um, is actually an example of French music that is called techno or Eurobeat. And the people who created that specific song and the people who are responsible for much of the popularity of this style of music in France are these two gentlemen who dress up in these robot costumes and they call themselves Daft Punk. Um, and they're actually two French gentlemen who use synthesizers and computers and create this style of music called Techno Eurobeat which is very popular not only in France but in all of Europe and as you are probably aware now, even in America you hear that kind of music as well, even in movies that you might have seen and heard. Okay? So that is an example of the music of France. And, like I said before, in our lesson today, you're supposed to pick one of these four nations 
and explore those four kinds of music, the national anthem, a traditional song, folk instrument, and popular music. And you can choose Ireland. We already listened to a little bit of France today. Poland. And Greece. Okay, to be clear, our assignment this week, very similar to what you've already been doing by now if you've been doing these assignments, is to pick one of those countries, listen to the four videos that go with it, an example of a national anthem, traditional song or dance, folk instrument, popular music. And if you have time, I would appreciate it if maybe you can try to do two of them in one week if you have time and if you're interested uh, so that you can at least get ready for what's coming next week which as you probably already know, you've already figured out this is the pattern that by next week I'd like you to try to do all four um, and finish all four of those countries and listen to music from all of them. Okay. So for now, until we see each other again, boys and girls, I will say to you, Slango Fo, Au revoir, Do Sadiosa, Goodbye for now.